Good morning, everybody. Mark in the home weather office. Today is Thursday, the 16th day of March, 2023. And as I look out the window of the home office, a cloud to be found. It's nice to see a sunny day. A chilly start, though. A lot of spots down in the 30s and low 40s. And while it will be a bright, sunny afternoon with light winds, temperatures will only make it into the low to mid 60s, which is still a little cooler than average for this time of year. Um, a couple of housekeeping notes. One, really appreciate the comments that you leave. So, uh, and I've taken some of those to heart. Uh, one, I actually combed my hair this morning. And second, um, um, uh, some of you commented about the audio, still working on it. Have a microphone right here, still working on it. So if you still have audio issues, I understand, and I'm working on it. All right, we got a lot to get to today, so let's go ahead and see what's going on. Do want to start with uh, with this, one of these high-resolution satellite images. And as you can see, we have clear skies, a little patch of clouds down here. Looks like it's south of Highway 88, maybe even south of Highway 4. Uh, but that's going to be clearing out. Otherwise, you have the snow in the Sierra. Some of you asked about this yesterday, and this is off GOES 18. I use a site called Ram slash B Slider. Um, it's out of Colorado State. If you do a Google search for Colorado State uh, GOES 18. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the comment section. I, sh I should say in the description section. Uh, so you can check that out. So anyway, nice clear skies. Do love these high-res satellite images. I mean, you can see Lake Almanor here, Lake Tahoe, Mono Lake. It's Mono Lake. It's uh, it's it's really really these these things are awesome. So yeah, really really nice. All right, let's get into what's what's going to happen because we have had to update the forecast a little bit for the day on Sunday. It does look as though it's going to be kind of rainy on Sunday. This is all the way through today and into tomorrow. This is Friday afternoon. Friday we will see more clouds. Uh, but today will be the sunniest and brightest day we will see. This is Saturday. Saturday, we'll see more clouds come our way, but Saturday is going to be the better half of the weekend to do things outdoors. And no issues traveling through the Sierra. This is Saturday evening. This is Saturday night. And this is a little after midnight. As you can see, some light rain spreading across the area. And this model will only go out through uh, part of Sunday. This is Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Widespread light rain. Not expecting anything heavy, and as you can see by the pressure gradients here, it's not going to be windy. There's hardly any wind. The snow level is still high up around 6,500 feet, and then as we head into the afternoon, it looks as though that breaks up. This is 5 o'clock in the afternoon, but yeah, the bottom line for the weekend is that Saturday's probably your better day to do things outdoors, and while we're only going to see a few inches of snow out of this and maybe a tenth or two of an inch of rain, that is going to be enough to, you know, just kind of get in the way of plans on Sunday, and we'll probably have to have chain controls. So that's that. Instead, let's look ahead to our next atmospheric river. This is Monday, and as you can see, there is that plume of moisture. For those of you that have not seen this before, let me shift it a little bit over this way so you can see it a little bit better. Here's California right here. Those are the Aleutians. Hawaii is down in here. And this is our next plume of moisture. Let me back things up, and you can see here we are on Saturday, and then here's Here's this next AR, Atmospheric River, Pineapple Express, if you will. And here it is on Monday. Now, you'll notice that as we go into the day on Monday, Tuesday, that, that it actually sinks south. So I know it's tough to see on this big map, but the Bay Area is right there. So this doesn't give us a direct hit. And because of that, while we're going to see good rain and snow on Monday and Tuesday, I don't expect this to be overly productive. We may see a half an inch of rain on Monday and Tuesday. And beyond that, we get a couple of days to dry out. Uh, that's next Wednesday. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and, and look at the, the GFS model because that will take us uh, farther into um, Monday and Tuesday. All right, there's that little bit of rain on Sunday. Now let's get into Monday. This is Monday afternoon, early afternoon, widespread rain. One of the differences from last night is the low is a little bit farther south, which might make Monday afternoon or evening windy again. Not sure about that, so just kind of keep that in mind. Not sure about that because it depends on where this low goes. There's that low right there. If the low's a little bit farther north, the pressure gradient is less and the winds will be less. Right now, I think the winds will be lower than what we saw um, a couple of days ago. And at this time, on Monday evening, the snow level's around 6,000 feet, but I'm gonna show you how that is going to change. We're getting some pretty good rain here. This is Monday night. And then this is still Monday night. Now let's go to Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. Another little surge comes through, but notice how there are breaks here from Sacramento County to the north. More of it's heading down toward the central coast and into Southern California. That's that AR sinking to the south, the atmospheric river sinking to the south. 
giving us moisture, but also dropping the snow level. And then on Wednesday, we start to clear out. All right, I talked about the snow level. Let's, uh, let me talk about why the snow level is gonna drop because you can see it pretty visually. And what I'm gonna show you here are the, uh, the temperatures at 5,000 feet. I'm gonna skip ahead to, uh, to Monday. All right, this is Monday morning. And as I scroll over this, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to read this, but these are the temperatures again at 5,000 feet. Uh, so this is, this is uh, three degrees C. So the temperatures are above freezing at 5,000 feet and it's pretty uniform. And that'll give you the snow level around 6,000 or 6,500 feet. I showed you the rain into Monday night. This is Monday at five o'clock and our temperatures are still around three or four degrees. Now, as that low wraps up here, there's cold air that'll come in behind it. I showed you that surface low. And then this is late Monday night. Our temperatures are still around three degrees. So this gives us our snow level around 6,000 feet. But look at the surge of colder air coming in. So while the snow level on Monday and Monday night might be 6,000 feet by Tuesday morning, that temperature drops down to one degree or zero, dropping the snow level maybe down to 4,000 feet. And as colder air comes in during the day on Tuesday, this is uh, Tuesday evening around five o'clock. The temperatures at 5,000 feet are now below, uh, below freezing, down to minus one. So that sends the snow level down to maybe 3,500. And uh, while the amounts will be decreasing, we are gonna see that change on the west slope. And that's another difference we'll see from the last system we saw where the snow levels stayed pretty high. And then this is Wednesday morning. While there won't be much precipitation left, the temperatures then are down to minus three, which can give us snow down to maybe 2,800 or 3,000. Again, not with the same amounts that we saw last time because the precipitation at this time will be decreasing. So there are a lot of changes that we're going to have to get through next week. First, we have a little bit of rain on Sunday. Saturday's your better part of the weekend. Monday, we get rain, somewhat windy, but that's uncertain for Monday night especially. And then for Tuesday into Wednesday morning, dropping snow levels. And for those of you that live at 3,000, 3,500, 4,000 feet, that's a detail we'll continue to hammer in. But right now you should be aware that we're going to get back into some snow at some of those lower elevations, not down to 2,000, but 3,000 and up. We're likely gonna see some snow by Tuesday and into Wednesday. So a lot to get through over the next couple of days, but instead today we've got bright sunshine. Enjoy your day. I'll talk to you later.